So, what's up guys? I'm Noel Amaklisan. This is Noel Abad. Have it so And lastly, Tristan Paul Maniago. And we are here to teach you and help you about the le lectures of Aris in Java. Please watch this. Hey guys. guys. We are here to teach you about Aris. First thing, what is Aris? Aris, a collection of elements of the same data type. Okay, what is the, the part of it? The element. The 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. <laughs> this is the represent of the value of the array. And each box represented an index. The index is counted from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So always remember that index is always start with 0. Okay, there are two questions. Can you can you answer it, Noel? Okay, guys, can you tell me how many elements are there? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 elements. And can you tell me how many indices are there? Let's count. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 indices in the arrays. Remember... Okay. Remember, indices are always less than the number of elements. Now that you learned the arrays and part of it, we can move on to our next topic, the sample code fragment of an array. Hey guys, hey guys so we are here about to discuss the sample code fragment of the array. The sample code fragment of the array. First, data type. Open and close bracket, are name. Then, put an equal. Then, new, new data type, open and close bracket. Then, the R, the R length. And then, semicolon. Now, this is the sample code. Where in is your data type, open close bracket. List is equals to your R name. Put an equal, new, in. Is your data type again? Open close bracket and five, which is the length of your array. And always don't forget to put a semicolon to end the statement. Now, now that you know about the sample code fragments, we can move on to the basic operations in array. We're back and we're here to teach you about the basic operations in arrays. So first we need to open up the net the net bins for your IDE. So just wait for a little while because it's downloading the modules. Okay, now it's open so we can create another project and create a new project. Click file, then new project. Click the next, then enter your project name. Any project name will do. Then uncheck the create main class button. Then click finish. Then create a new Java class. So right click, then click new Java class. Enter your class name. 
Maybe your name should be Basic Operations. Then click finish. So now let's start the codings. So before the class name, let's delete the comment and enter your package. We're gonna use java.util package. Then enter static scanner console. I remember small s when writing the static. Then, of course, we need to write the public static void main string arts So after that, we start the program. Okay, now first operation is initializing the array. So we'll just write the comment here to specify which is the operation to be used. So that's right, initialize the array. So the codes is double, then bracket. Maybe our class name, array name should be sales. Is equals to new double, then bracket. And the length of your array, maybe four will do. Then the semicolon. Don't forget the semicolon. Then let's move on to the next basic operations, which is input data inside the array. Now we're back in using the for loop. For loop is the one basic repetitions for performing array. So write the for, then initialize. Initialize your index, semicolon, and the condition, which is index should be less than the length of the array name. So sales that length. Then semicolon again, and the incre increment of the index. So that's index plus plus. Then angle bracket. Then we need to show what is the sales. So this then that out that print will do the trick. So enter the sales. Yes, don't forget the semicolon. So let's move on to the after this let's move on to the thir third operations of array So let's go to the third one, which is we need to print all the array elements. After inputting the data inside the array, we should print all the array elements. So 
So we need to enter a new, another loop for printing all the elements. Another for loop. Just copy the for loop that you write earlier. Then write system dot out dot print. Then open close parenthesis sales bracket index then we need to add a space to show the printing to show the print of the element so we must enter the plus sign to add the space then semicolon then let's move on to the another operations which is we need to sum all the elements so we need to enter another data type which is double and sum sum should be equal to zero so after that we need another for loop just copy the for loop that you write earlier then after that we need to get the formula sum is equals sum plus is equals to sales open bracket index then semicolon then we need to enter the details We need to enter the details. The we need to add some details. So we are gonna display. So we need to write the total sales. So enter the total sales is, and then add the variable sum. then semicolon then after that let's move on to the last operations which is finding the largest element so to get this we need to enter another data type which is max is equals to sales bracket then enter zero as your length as your value and then enter another for loop then we need to enter an if statement so if sales is greater than max then max is equal to sales bracket index then 
need to print the text so we need to enter the text the largest sales value then add the variable max then after that we need to see the the output so shift f6 will do the trick we just need to wait to see the output click ok now as you see the program is running so we just need to wait for a while now so as seen in the output you can see the enter the sales so we need to enter the sales any number will do so i enter 56 then another number 43 then 69 and 70 so after I enter the numbers are lined up just like in the array example that we show you earlier then we have 56 43 69 and 70 then we need in the first uh, one of the operations we need to add the sales so the total sales is 238.0 and the last operations we do is the finding the largest value so the largest value is equals to 70 so the program is a uh, su successful so i hope you catch up with us so if you have questions you could re download the replay of this video and so guys thank you